Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Pimp My Bank. This is episode two. Um, the first episode seemed to go down quite well, so I thought I'd have another go. Maybe give out some tips. Today, I am going to be doing Ganodermic Beasts, but I'm not going to be canoning them. Canon I'm going to be showing how I did it when I camped them for two weeks and I actually made like 200 mil. I've got a video of me selling my loot tab on my channel. I'll put a annotation or a link in the description to that you can check that out prices are still pretty much the same as they were then so the cash is still really good it's a really good way of making money very afk um obviously if you're using the cannon you're losing money and you are not afk and this way you still make pretty good money but it's, it's, it's a lot more afk and worth it so I get there by using the fairy rings. I think the code is BIP. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Polypod Dungeon. You can also get there by using the jeweling ring and going to the jewel arena and just running. I think it's north. Just have a quick look. Yeah, you want to go in the jewel jewel arena and then go through this gate near the maze training arena and just run up. Uh, it's really quick. If you aren't using fairy rings, which I recommend you do, you can always bank at the jewel arena as well, it's kind of handy. Inventory, I've just got prayer renewals and prayer pots. Um, Wolpertinger, you don't even need a familiar, so you don't have to worry about summoning level. But I just use that for a mage boost. But you could use a unicorn, or you could just bring nothing, you don't really need anything to be honest. Just bring an Excalibur to heal, heal yourself up. A few scrolls and some tele tabs. As for gear, I use Arims because it's cheap and really like good enough, if that makes sense. I've got Max Cape, but you could quite easily use an RD Cape or Phi Cape or um, I don't know, pretty much any cape really. Soul Wars Cape. I've got an Arcane Stream, but you could use a Glory. Polypor Staff, you're definitely going to need that. Arims, obviously. Zamri Book, most people have that. You could use an arcane if you're a rich bastard. You've got infinity boots and a Sears ring and Barrow's gloves. Pretty cheap setup to be honest. Um, it's worth about seven mil and you risk three mil. So yeah, this is how I made my money to max out. Once you make your way into the polypore dungeon, you're gonna wanna go to the resource dungeon. Now I did forget to mention that um, you're gonna need 82 dungeoneering to use this way to get there but you can use the agility jumps over there this way is just quicker and yeah uh, most people have 82 dungeoneering anyway so go through there make your way down this is the spot I used for my camping and I hardly ever got crashed so it's all good kind of laggy here in high detail so you might want to pop down to whatever low detail once you get to the floor, um, set up your quick prayers to protect from mage. You can get rid of pretty much everything else, to be honest. So protect from mage, and then run east, and you'll see a summoning obelisk just here. As you can see, there's no one here. And then you can pot up, summon your shit and this is the one you want to attack because it spawns right next to this thing so lure it over come over here hopefully it'll come over here it takes its time they're kind of fat these guys and basically you can just afk no. sometimes he doesn't get caught on there like that and he'll oh he did get caught but yeah you can just afk now that's it they don't hit and polypore hits really high these guys drop so much stuff it is really good seeds um, effigies not so much anymore though obviously after the nerf um, seeds herbs polypore sticks um, flakes are the main thing you want to pick up there's a few things that you don't want to pick up but they'll be pretty obvious see there's a snapdragon seed straight away and they spawn right there so you can just lure them back in and just stand here and AFK again it is good times and they also drop charms so if you're not maxed out and you're looking for cash this is a really good way like obviously you need 95 slay and 82 dungeoneering to use this 
method that I'm using but it's really cheap you hardly spend anything I mean prayer pots don't cost anything well <laughs> they cost something but and not many people seem to do it like it. a lot of people seem to use a cannon and I don't know you lose money fucking siren god damn but AFK in them is still over two mil an hour and if you do it if you stick at it you will make good money I think I've pretty much covered everything gear how to get here and it is AFK as shit so I'd recommend this as like a thing to camp to be honest frost dragons are dead I was gonna do them but it's just bot central and bones are crashing so there's not really much point you want to pick up flakes and I always ignore um, I ignore the she drops the droops most herb drops because obviously it takes up inventory space you could also bring a beast of burden if you don't want to waste inventory space but you're gonna to need to bring stuff to renew but I think that about covers everything I hope this helps you out um, obviously high levels probably know about this but maybe some people don't um, thanks for thank you for checking out the video and I shall see you next time where I'll probably be doing a low level one so yeah bye